All right. So just, let's just go through everything about minor keys again. The first thing I'd like you to do is to draw the circle of fifths and just put in all of the major keys on the circle of fifths. So all on the outside, start with C, up at 12 o'clock, G at 1 o'clock, D at 2 o'clock, A at 3 o'clock, E, B, F sharp, down at 6 o'clock, C sharp over here. So we get the sharp side done. Then we come around and do the flat side, F at 11 o'clock, B flat at 10 o'clock, E flat at 9 o'clock, A flat at 8 o'clock, and then D flat is right under C sharp. These are, again, the enharmonic keys, G flat right next to F sharp, and C flat right next to B. All right, so once we get all of the major keys in, then, then we're going to put in the relative minor. So what do we know about the relative minor scale? What step of the major does the relative minor start on? But what step? It starts on the sixth step. So we can either think, how, what, how can we think about it then? A major sixth up or a minor third below. All right, so the, in other words, what we're coming up with now is the rel, what is known as the relative minor key. It means it has the same key signature. All right, so let's go on. So what's the relative minor of C? A. A. Relative minor of G? E. Relative minor of D, B. Relative minor of A, F sharp. Relative minor of E, everybody? A relative minor of E? C sharp, there it is. Relative minor of B, G sharp. So what's the key signature G sharp? Five sharps. It's the same as the key of B major, isn't it? They both have five sharps, but if, but one is minor and one is major. What's the relative minor of F sharp major? D, not D. It has to be a note in the key, so if, if that note is sharp or flat, it has to be sharp. In this case, D sharp, because D, D is sharp in that key. Relative minor of C sharp. A sharp. Relative minor of F major, D major, D, pardon me, D minor. Relative minor of B flat major, G minor, good. And what's the key signature of G minor? Two flats, it's the same as B flat, right? Two flats. And the relative minor of E flat is C. Relative minor of A flat major, what is it? F. F. Relative minor of D flat major, B flat. Again, enharmonic keys, A sharp and B flat, are the, would sound the same, wouldn't they? They'd look different, but they would sound the same. All right, relative minor of G flat major is E flat. And the relative minor of C flat major is A flat minor. Good. So again, these are the relative minor and major keys. And what does that mean when I say relative major or relative minor? Well, it's the, six, the, the, the minor scale starts on the sixth step of the major, right? But what does it mean, Abby? It, what, what it actually means, when I ask for the relative minor key of a major, I'm asking for the, the, uh, the scale with the same key signature. Let me make a little adjustment there. All right. That's better. So I'm asking for the minor scale with the same key signature. So what relative minor, relative major means is that it's a major minor key with the same key signature. That's what it, that's the definition of that. That's important to know. Because we're going to talk about a different relationship in just a minute. So I want you to remember that the relative 
uh, minor scale is the same key signature as the major. It starts on the sixth step of the major. So we can go up a major sixth or down a minor third. If we have the, the minor scale and I want the relative major, how could I find that? I would go down a major sixth or up a minor third, right? So if I said, okay, G minor, what's the relative major of G minor? It would be, what would it be, Matt? Not B. It would be B flat. It has to be a minor third. So it would be B flat. So that's, so that's how you can think of it, too.